Hi guys, welcome to Entropia Universe, very awesome game, and I would like to take my time to explain a couple of things about the beginning of the game, some directions you can take, what the game's about, and activities you can participate in the game, land you can own in the game, money you can make in the game, and money you can invest in the game. Um, what will be explained is some pet cycle stuff, um, bankroll, things that you need to know because the game can be very unforgiving sometimes and people can get very distraught about certain loots and and hunting trips and there's always an argument about whether it's robbing you or not but you look there's a smarter way to go about it so without further ado let's get into the game I'm gonna start from the beginning tutorial explain a lot of stuff suggest some key changes and get you started in the game tell you some spots to go to that are going to help you out, gain rifle skills. There's a couple of things that have been changed, so 2016 is pretty good. Uh, Migration is just about to come up, which none of you know about, but you might have read up about it. But that's coming up as well. A lot of stuff to learn, so without further ado, let's do that. Alright, welcome back to part two of my tutorial. We're going to continue the tutorial here. We'll just Movement tutorial, click here to skip this tutorial. Okay, well look, these are all basic MMO skills. Skip. Mm, camera one, okay, look, camera. Yeah, look, go through these. You can go through all them, right? You're going to keep getting these messages up the top left screen. It's going to tell you all sorts of stuff, right? So they're going to keep popping up. Okay, with the message center, now that we've started with the message center, these tabs here all allocate things that are going to pop up in your messages and notify you. Auction ones are going to pop up. Uh, custom notes, which you can make. How do you make a custom note? You might find a spot where there's good mobs. Want to write the coordinates down in game. Not on a piece of paper in your desks. So you can click this little orange icon here. Create a new message. Create a sticky note. You can type, um, Thule is amazing and just press this little arrow that goes into your notes and if you don't want to see it in your messages unhighlight the notes and it will not show if you don't want to see uh, notifications that are talking to you hide them okay so these notifications can be turned off or on I'll turn them all off right now okay let's go forward at the moment spacebars jump and use your right key key to to search around all right Okay, blah 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 blah. Left click to NPC, then left click again to interact. So, we'll right click the NPC and click operate. Right, blah blah blah. Underground receivers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we get it. You can read all that. What do I do now? You should exit and find Mr. Yoshida. He can offer you a tutorial on transport. Now, don't skip through the tutorials. Don't skip anything. Every single thing you get in this game is worth money. Everything that you get in this game is worth money. I'll say that a third time. Worth money. Right. Go through the tutorials. It's not rocket science. You talk to him. Head off down here. Talk to her. Stuff it. Okay. Now she'll tell you all the sorts of stuff you can do. Right. Tell me about Calypso. Blah, blah, blah. Tell me about the economy. Blah, blah, blah. Read all that. Tell me about the things I can do in Calypso. Blah, 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 blah. Crafting, trading. Everything you need to know is in this person. Right? Tell me about investment opportunities. It'll talk about land areas and deeds and shops and stores and that. Yes, all that is important. And you probably should sit here and read it all. But that's... At the end of the day, that doesn't really help you to start the game. Because so many of you come into the game and don't know what the hell to do. So... Read that, please. Spend 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Sit there and read it. And then leave. Go this way. Um, haven't done this for a while. Can't go in there. Oh, yeah, right. Area's restricted. Turn around and go down the ramp. See? If you stuff up like I just did, that dude, chick, whatever it is, dude, will tell you what to do. Now, at the moment, I'm using right mouse button to move myself around and control myself and I'm clicking the left mouse button to move forward 
So, let's just talk to him, see what he says, has to say. The door is to Thule, Mr. Shida is outside, press OK. Blah, 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 right, fair enough. Nothing in the room to pick up, there's no hidden hidden stuff. Operate the door, whoop, operate the door. This is a teleporter. Now this is the only teleporter you'll see in the whole game like this. Don't, maybe I'm wrong, but all the other teleporters I've seen are big spiky things in the ground. Close, blah, blah, blah. You're gonna get messages, one after another. Press OK. Are you ready to leave the starting area and enter Calypso? By all means, if you've read all the bullshit that other person had to say, yes, press OK. You're in here. You have no pet. You have no money. You're in here. Welcome to the realm. This is only Thule, though, so it's not the proper Calypso yet. OK, messages. Stuff to close. Vibrant sweat extractor. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to get to know how to use that. Um, all the features of this universe, blah, blah, blah. Press OK. Okay, where are we? Where have we ended up? We're in the hangar. There's another teleporter. There's no one else here. Except for that chick. It's a guard. Let's talk to him. You got nothing to say. Stuff him. Operate. Okay, we're in the crystalline cavern. Now, if you'll notice, my radar is fuzzy. That means it won't show other players. Now, when you go into lootable PvP, see this green dot here says PvP? It tells you what goes on. You can't receive or inflict damage to other players. Toxic one? This is a, not a toxic area. Now, when that lights up or goes orange or red, you usually have to take a shot. But once that happens and you do go into these areas and listen to this carefully, people can kill you and take your shit. They can take, can't take your ped, they can't take your tools, but they can take everything in these two tabs. Materials tab and Mind Resources tab. And sometimes they can take stuff out of this tab because sometimes you may have furniture and stuff in there. But I haven't had anything taken out of there yet. But these are the two tabs you keep empty by all means. Right, chuck your inventory over there. Oh, well, let's go through that while we're here. Okay, pet card. This is the card where all your cash goes into. If another player trades you for goods, the money will be put in the trade box, and the money will end up here. For it to end up in your balance, you will need to drag and drop the money into your ped card. If you want to give another player money, you right-click the ped card, you click Extract Ped. I've got no ped, so I can't click anything. You allocate the amount of ped, then you press the green tick. That's how you give another player money out of your thing, and taking money, you dump it into your card. This is where your clothes will go. Your sexy jumpsuit goes there. Your rings will go here. Rings are lootable out of strong boxes, which are purchasable off the web shop from entropiauniverse.com. Um, you can get really expensive rings. Some rings sell for four or five hundred USD. Thousand USD is just luck. So strong boxes give pretty good return. It's between seven and ten percent in ammo anyway with the chance of getting something else. You get fireworks, pets, all this other sort of junk you can get, but the rings are quite useful, and the unlimited rings are very useful. All your armor will go here. You will receive armor. I strongly suggest not using armor at the beginning of the game because you need to get your evade skills up. Look at it this way in any other MMO, right? If you put armor on and go out and shoot a mob that you can kill, but you can't evade, He's going to keep smashing your armor, which is going to decay and cost you money. So the difference between you and some guy off level 10 of aid going out to kill a curb, which is a monster in the game, which you'll very well find out about, he's going to not spend as much hunting because you're more inexperienced. Yeah, you've got the armor on and it, it stops the curb killing you, but your armor will decay to the point where you're spending 10 pet at uh, repair and that guy's spending none. So armor for later on. Don't worry about armor so much. The messages keep on coming. Yeah, you can have friends if you want. Don't know about that one. Avatar, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, avatar. Interesting. Display name. Right click on your avatar. Go to my avatar. Go to avatar name. And you get to choose, and I wish someone would have told me this when I first started. You get to choose what you want to display above your head in the chat channels and to everyone around you. 
you can display your full name in all the three. You can display one of them, like this one, or you can display this one and not that one. But at the end of the day, you get to choose, as long as it's one. They won't let you have no name. Alright, let's stick with that one. Gun tab, your guns will go here. Your ammo will go here. I'll explain ammo a bit later, but you're going to get given a gun during this tutorial. You're going to get given some ammo during this tutorial. You're going to get given a few things to start you off with. But we'll get to the gun bit later. Tools, your VSE Mark 1. This is a sweating tool, which I'll explain later. This is one of the tools, one of the only tools in the whole game that does not decay and does allows you to pull sweat out of monsters, namely creatures, not robots, and allows you to gather the sweat, and this is how you get evade skill when you first start the game. You gather the sweat and then you sell it to other players. You can't go in the auction house and sell it. It's not sellable on the auction house. You sell it to other players. Now I'm suggesting strongly that you sell it for about two ped per thousand units. Putting small units up for sale in the trade channel and in the rookie channel. Try to avoid putting anything up in the rookie channel. Here we go. We'll light that up. This is for you guys. You get in there and keep that on and read it. Read what they're saying. Read read all the stuff. They'll answer questions for you without you even typing. You got to read that stuff, man. Interaction, blah blah blah. Yeah, we know we're, we're teaching here, right? Now look, this is going to go for a while, but you guys need to know this stuff. Rookie channels there. Most of the time you'll ask questions there. Most of the time, seventy percent to ninety percent, you will get a decent answer. Calypso advises, and we've started on Calypso because it's the most popular planet. And I couldn't be asked going through all the planets. You will learn the basics from here, and then you can go to the other planets later. Calypso advises sometimes come in here. They give free portals to group sweating places where you can go with other people who have just started and sweat big monsters without them hitting you. This is a quick way to earn ped quickly in the game. If somebody offers a portal to places like Boreas or the Royal Club, it's a PvP area, but don't worry, no one will kill you. It's a waste of their ped. PvP area, unless you go AFK. And um, a Boreas PvP area, and uh, oh, I forget the other one. But anyway, they're the two that you'll go to. There's usually somebody sweating there. You can gather your sweat. At the beginning, you might gather two or three hundred sweat an hour. You will not make a living of gathering sweat with this tool. I'm just saying. But if you want to, if you want to start the game with no in no income straight away, and crawl your way up through the mud, then this is the tool for you. Materials tab. Everything you loot off monsters is going to show up here unless it is a unique item like a fishing rod or a trumpet, which I've looted before. And your cars and vehicles. Yes, you can have a car. You'll get given a car during this tutorial. Your cars, your spaceships. Oh yeah, spaceships. You can fly into space. Word on space. Lootable PvP without a shot. The only place. If you equip a space thruster to a sleep near or a quad, which are the two main space vehicles in the game, and you fly directly up into the atmosphere, just holding down the up button, you will hit a message saying you are just about to enter space, and then that message will put you in space, where if you've got anything in these two tabs, and somebody shoots you down, which they probably will, they can take it all. Yep, if you've got $3,000 of USD in these two tabs, and they take it, you can whinge, bitch and moan to anyone you like. No one's going to listen because you got told. And if you didn't get told, you should have asked. Okay? So, tools tab. All your mining gear will go in here. Mining finder. Mining's awesome. I mine on my, on my main character. Mining gear will go here. Amps will go here. Enhancers will go here for this. Enhancers for guns will go in with the guns. Enhancers for tools will go in with the tools. Enhances increase your mining finding depth, your range, your skill, there's a skill enhancer. Your extractor, which you use to re remove the ore out of the ground, will also go in here. All this will be explained because I'm going to do the tutorial with you anyway. This is where all your ore will go. This is why someone can pinch it. So all your ore will go in here. Your blueprints will go in here. We'll talk about blueprints later. And mine force, which is the game's version of magic. Um, you put an implant in your head, you put the chip in your head, and then you zap shit with it, or you heal yourself with it. Very cool. Um, can't be amped and stuff, but that might come in a later update. Alright, so that's the inventory explained. My god, that has dragged on. 
Let's go down there and talk to that dude, eh? I'm still using right click at the moment and left click to walk, so I'm not even touching the keyboard right now. Okay, Sergeant Chief Harkov has got some information for us. You need to defend yourself if you're going outside. There's bad shit out there. There we go. The loot window to the left. Do you know how to use that weapon? Give you extra ammo. Poof, nothing wrong with free money. I could use a lesson. Blah, 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 blah. I've equipped the weapon. What's next? Blah, 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 blah. Read it all. Aim mode. Okay. Aim mode and cursor mode. N. Let's talk about those things right now and make this game a bit easier for you from the beginning. Okay. So. Don't worry, the drones are not going to come for us for a start, right? We've got to shoot them down. Let us talk about this aim mode business right now. I know this music's scary, but let's just talk about it, right? Up on your top left hand of your screen, there will be three triangle, three squares, which is the edit panel. I want you to click that, so all this shit shows up here. Then press I on your keyboard. You're going to be doing this through the whole game, no matter what you do. It's going to happen. Click on your gun tab. Drag your gun with the three moving squares out into the screen and that will create a shortcut icon for you. Right. If you want to shortcut the gun to a key on your keyboard, click on the keyboard icon over here. As you can see, you can have plenty of active sets of keys. I just leave it on one. V is disabled push to talk in the game. Drag your gun onto V. Bang. Is that a gun? Yeah. So, you drag shit onto keys, right? Another couple of things we want to move while we're here. I'm telling you right now, this is going to make your life easy. Aim mode is alt. This is aim mode, right? You don't want aim mode to be alt and you don't want space to be jump. I know in every other game it is and you do not want E to be used to it. Right? Now you need to open your action library. Oh, wait a minute. Turn this off. Open your action library which is by pressing Y or hovering over this button. Action library. The little book comes up, right? So you've got your gun on V. That will toggle your gun to be equipped on your hand. Very useful. Okay, look, you guys don't have to follow the way I do my keys, but I'm just showing you how you can move stuff around. Okay, so we've got jump. So let's just type JU into our action library. Right, grab our three little squares from the top left hand of the screen. Now we can drag jump onto a key. I'm suggesting clicking on jump so that opens us up, drag jump onto the E key. Almost everybody does it. Why? Don't know, but I'll tell you what, I've been playing for months and months and months, and it is the easiest. E key, right, so, we want to go back to this tab here, see this grey tab here? Oops, I'll just turn that music down, it's coming through the mic probably. Delete the jump, and we want to right um, aim tool toggle aim so just type in toggle toggle aim cursor mode you want to put the toggle aim cursor mode onto spacebar it is the easiest before you do that no sorry move the trash can okay move the trash can do not show this again okay move the trash can Right, so it doesn't have the asterisk on it, that's all, that's all I'm doing. Okay, toggle aim cursor mode, bang, onto spacebar, so much easier. And I'll show you why in a second. N, you want to stay the same. Okay, recall all vehicles. Look, that's not the key to use. Move the trash can on the right alt key. Move the trash can on that key. Recall all vehicles, so type in recall, bang, move recall all vehicles to right alt. It is heaps easier. 
You know what you want your B key to be? I'll tell you what you want your B key to be. The word auto. Toggle auto use tool. Now, man, if you don't have this tool, you are kidding yourself. You need this to sweat with, to auto attack monsters, all sorts of stuff. Drag that onto B. I'll use it in context to what I'm doing, all this stuff, and you'll see why I've done it this way. Next thing we want to do is we want to clear the G key, move the trash can, and the H key, move the trash can, because we don't need those icons that are up there. Now, what we want to do is we want to type in target, the word target. Oops, stuff that up. We'll type the word in target. If I can spell. Right. Select next target and select previous target. Man, when you're farming, these two keys are the stuff. I put select next target onto G and I put select previous target onto H. You probably won't use select previous target that often but if you are shooting a mob and then you move away from the mob and you didn't that last shot didn't kill it it's pretty handy so select previous target there and um, for key shortcuts look uh, the only other thing I can suggest is when you get a vehicle drag it into the right, the minus of the dump pad because if you'll find that when you press that key it's really easy to access so so all good okay let's close that, we're done with that okay now toggle aim mode well before we go off that there's your bullets and there's your gun you do not need to drag the bullets under the gun you do not need to do anything once the universal ammo is in your gun tab, it will get used first unless you have less weapon cells or BLP packs, whatever the gun uses, than universal ammo and you already were using it. Sounds confusing, but at the end of the day, ammo in this game, whether it be universal ammo, which can be used in mining finders, mining probes, or weapon cells or BLP packs are all purchasable from the trade terminal which is in every single town on the game and they are all equal value universal ammo however you will get from converting shrapnel from monsters as loot and it converts at 101% so you actually get a little bit more than the shrapnel back do not TT your shrapnel for money it is the most best thing in the game to get your cash Voice chat is disabled, I don't know why they've still got that there. Equipped items, blah blah blah. Right. Let's move on. Let's kill some shit. Okay. Targeted missions are there. There is no limit on your mission log. It is the little map with a cross at the top. You can fill this to eternity. There's no 25 quests and you cannot accept any more quests like some other games I might mention. There's your completed quest there and your active quest there. You can abandon them, you can track them. When you track them, they'll show up over here. If you want to look at your quest details, click on the number where the track mission is, it will show the quest up. You will most of the time get very small amounts of information from this. It'll generically tell you what you gotta do, but this one's pretty easy. You gotta target the drone, so this is a good one. Right. Notice how my mouse can move around the screen and if I wanna move my camera I gotta hold my right mouse button wrong now that we've adjusted our keyboard I press spacebar and now I'm just moving my mouse freely and I can use the W A S and D keys to fight move while I can move now to go into aim mode let's equip the gun we've already got the shortcut key up here we can either press that or we can press V let's press V equips our gun Ammo shows up here, tells you how many shots you got left. Your health bar is there and your pet is there. This will be a notification about ranged weapons. Fine. Now, to target the closest monster to you. Now, press your G key. We'll target that dude because he's the closest thing to you. Okay, sorry. Target's the closest thing to you. 
Keep pressing it. It'll then target the next closest thing. Watch this. All I've got to do is press B now, and it will start shooting that drone by itself. And, well, one shot. Okay, fair enough, right? That drone's got loot. Now, if you want to go through and massacre these guys, all you've got to do is press G, B till it's dead, G, B till it's dead, G, B till it's dead. Easy. Or, you can put yourself, by pressing space, into toggle aim mode, scroll your mouse wheel all the way down, and you can get crosshairs, and you can pick them off, all western style. Bang. Let's pick them two off. Do it this way. Now, this is good for stuff like prances and stuff, because... Now, to loot, while you're in this mode, just right-click on the mob. No loot. Right-click on the mob. No loot. If I right-click on that mob, it'll probably get attack me, but... Right-click on the mob. None of them had any loot. Right. Let's kill the last two the other way. Okay. G. G. Press G till you see what you want. Press B. Auto. It would have shot him till he was dead. It's going to keep shooting. You don't waste bullets in a non-PVP area if you shoot. You can shoot for eternity. As long as you're not hitting anything, your bullets won't go down. Press G again. Press G again. B. Bang. Done. Thanks for your lesson. Thanks for the free ammo. This little green light thing is us receiving an item. Now the game has... You can right click and loot when you're in this mode. I hear that I'm clicking my space bar because that's what you do. You play the game by moving around, clicking the space bar to interact with your mouse, and then unclicking the space bar to control your character, move forward, shoot on the run. Look, some monsters like Prancers are really annoying because you go to press G and B, and because of the terrain, it makes you almost walk up to the monster before you can shoot him. Monsters like that are better off in this mode, but most monsters, you can just sit back, beer in your hand or whatever you want to do, Press G, B, G, B, G, B. You will learn about finishing guns later. But at the moment, we're nowhere near that level. So what do we get here? Oh, range combat, blah, blah, blah. Activity, hunting. Oh, yeah, right. Heh. You want to waste ped, go do that. No, it's good. Can be good. Let's tear onto the exit. If the explanations are too fast, I'm really sorry, because the game is huge. There's so much crap to do. And the teaching's got to be quick. Oh, see the rig? Check it out. The rig. You're going to get one of them very shortly. Okay. Obviously, it's porting itself. I didn't have to interact with it. This is still proper. This is the first area. I don't mind my graphics. Ever since the last update, that stuff's been happening. Well, ever since the last couple of updates. Rendering and drawing mission. I don't have my graphics on too high. Oh, check it out. Some other nubs. <laughs> Alright, there's Mr. Yoshida. Let's have a chat. Bat. Really? Okay. Blah, 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 blah. I'm ready to earn that transport. Right. Give me the car. Lay it on me. He wants... He can, uh, what does he want us to do? Doesn't matter. Click through it. Report to Jimmy. Bang. As you'll notice, on your mini-map there is a number one. Tracked missions will show up on your minimap according to the number of the tracked mission. Number one, number one. Now that dude's just down the road, right? Oh, and before we go any further, let's do the most important thing in game. Let's put the sweat tool out next to our gun because you know what? They go hand in hand. Bang. Now, these little icons will join up and form little clusters and move around together sometimes. Sometimes you've got to delete them all and rearrange them depending on how many times you reduce your screen and whatnot. But, um, pain in the ass. It's, it's not a perfect game. It just is. Alright, let's head on down. Let's go find Jimmy. But look at the big... You can't really stuff the beginning of the game up. He's in there, by the way. Ah, storage terminal. This is where you put your shit. Right. 500 items. Man, I've got so much stuff on my other character. I'm only about 200. My blueprint tab is to the bottom of blueprints that I don't even know if I'm ever going to use, but I keep them anyway, just in case, so. Crafting we'll touch on later, but this is just a tutorial to start you into the game. I'll be doing three different tutorials, probably four or five, but let's just start with this one. 
Okay, let's talk to Jimmy. This first quest is a joke. It's so easy. Help terminal. You can go on there and get help if you want. If you're feeling distressed or blah 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 blah. Find the problem. Right, limited connectivity. We're gonna go and get something. Problems over there. Star quests are pretty easy. You get given waypoints. He tells you what to do. You know, it's not rocket science. It's when you guys get into the game. Then when, when I see the troubles start. Alright, bang, done. Report to Jimmy. Such an easy quest. They, they run you around the mill a little bit, but be really precious with your bullets. Mining, blah, blah, blah. Okay, Jimmy, we're here. Jimmy? Sure thing. I'm not even reading it. I'm just... Look, you get given loot. It tells you what to do. So you can't really stuff it up. Let's go have to kill some pygmy chompers. Is that a pygmy chomper? Yeah, it is. No, oh, watch this. I, I, I actually clicked on that with my mouse. B. See? I don't have to do nothing. I don't have to stab my mouse button 10,000 times. All I had to do was press B because we set our keyboard up the right way. Press B again to stop shooting, right click, and loot. Right. First loot box. Shrapnel, which I have already explained can be converted to universal ammo and can be used in mining finders and guns. Mine force, it's called universal ammo for a reason. It can be used in everything in the game, pretty much. BLP packs. There are some weapons that are BLP. There are some weapons that are weapon cells. And some weapons that are mine force. So there's a few different ammo types. And explosive projectiles, which you don't need to know about because it's a waste of money. Alright, that one's respawned. Let's just keep killing him. We don't want to waste ammo, so... I think we just stole that mob off someone, maybe. Nah. See that word evade that comes up? Yeah, take note of that. I double clicked on him that time. There's a weapon cells. That's what our gun uses because, check it out. Right click, item info, gun. Shows you a description of the looks, tells you the TT value. It's a limited gun. See this L here? When that reaches to 3%, of this value, that gun will stop working and you need to TT it to the trade terminal, which is basically like a caching venue. It's like the storage box back there, but a bit thinner, and I'll show you one when we get to it. Magnifying glass. Right. This tells you the condition limit of when it'll stop working, and if you hover your mouse over them, it'll tell you. Its weight, item points that it takes up in your inventory, the tier that the gun is. So as the tier goes up, you can plonk enhancers in here. Guys, don't bother tiering anything or buying enhancers at low levels. I've got enhancers on level 20 stuff and I still don't reckon it does anything. They're there for a reason, but I reckon enhancers are more better on mining equipment and stuff. Guns, you know, it's debatable. Anyway, range laser damage. These are your skills that you will get. This is the skill needed to use this gun. Some guns in the game also have zero here, but you'll notice that when you scroll down to them, they won't have 10 or 9. They won't have close to full damage. It'll be very minuscule. That's because these guns are level 100 guns. That's why they say zero. And if you're a level 100 or 80 or whatever the cap, the amount happens to be, then these skills will go up. So basically those guns and stuff are made for really high level players that can get a hold of ammo, uh, weapons for almost nothing and go and kill punies. So they've put their time in, basically. So, at the moment, though, this has a learning period. So, learning period, damage, yes. Learning period, hit, yes. That means that you get an extra 10% skill bonus to learning by using this gun. This is called SIB, or Skill Increase Bonus. There'll be a point where you will level past this gun all these amounts down here will say 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 27 out of 27, and full damage, yada, yada, yada. All those will be maxed. I'm strongly recommending now, after you get into the game, 
to only use maxed weapons. SIB weapons will cost you a fortune. You go try to use an SIB sword at level 13 and see how much money you throw down the drain. Do not use SIB stuff unless you're at the beginning of the game you don't have a choice. This ammo burn on this gun is awesome. 48, great. For the damage it's doing, pretty good. There is a site called entropedia.info which has all the details about all, well, mostly about weapons and stuff. It's not really accurate. Some people update it, some people don't, but you can get most of the information you need from entropedia.info and that's where you're going to be looking most of your stuff up because, you know what, there isn't much else on the internet. No one puts information up there because, guys, this is a money game. The more they tell you, the less money they make. So, let's go down. Look, that dude's already got his vehicle. Check him out. That. Oh, this is good. This is good. It's killing chompers. Nice. All right, all right. We need some more pygmy chompers. How many more? We need one more pygmy chomper. Come on, dude. Don't be greedy. We need one more. Where's the pygmy chomper? Pretty sure there was one back there, but let's just go kill this one over here where there's no one. There he is. There he is. Check him out. B. Just going to kill him the lazy way. We don't need to spend unnecessary resources. We're going to keep getting these notifications. This can be a hostile enemy. got to beware. Right? Let's right click. Loot. Weapon cells. Nice. Mission updated. We're going to go back and see Jimmy. Pretty sure Jimmy's going to piff us a vehicle after all this. Okay, he wants us to do the something. Yeah, all oh, right, here we go. We get a rig and some oil. Yep, he tells you how to fuel it. See, all you guys get on Rookie Chat and ask how to do this and that. It's all there. They, they tell it all to you. Now, this is one of the things about Entropia. Old Jimmy there's still got an exclamation mark above his head. He doesn't still have quests, all right? It just happens. That they, they don't they don't polish the game like other people do. They got it going, it's operational, it'll do. Right. Vehicle. Let's go press I for our inventory, go down to our miscellaneous tab. And let's click our three little squares. Drag our vehicle out to a little hotkey. And also I'm gonna drag the vehicle to my favourite spot, which is minus on the keyboard on the numpad because it's really easy to access and it's easy for me. Right, now that we've got our vehicle we go to our mined resources tab because fuel is a mined resource. Click our negative thing. Now to place a vehicle the green arrow has to be green, the curved arrow. If you try to put it on something like a fence it'll be red. It's got to be green. Space vehicles like quads and sleep nears are going to be a pain in the ass to place on the ground, especially when you're at hunting or trying to go somewhere. So, okay, rigs on the ground. Drag your fuel onto the rig. Press OK. No one can steal your rig. Your rig is soul bound. You can walk off. Your rig will stay there. If your rig's left or your spaceship is left in a place and you get killed or something happens to you your rig will go back into the storage which is planet wide on the planet you're on and you can go and pick it up and put it back in your inventory and away you go. Now guys you gotta look after this car because it's probably one of the best vehicles in the game. The um, thing about cars is you can smash them and bash them all you want against trees and walls and posts and all that and they're hard to drive but do not get killed by monsters in them. You know why? Because cars are different than every other limited item in the game. Cars can be destroyed to the point where you cannot spawn them anymore. Cars is one of the... Uh, vehicles, let's just say vehicles, is one of the only things in the game that are structurally repairable. So when I stop down at this waypoint, I'll show you. Gee, this road's bumpy. Um, vehicles have the TT value of them. Okay, let's just talk. Okay, let's get out. Okay, exit. Okay, let's pick our vehicle up. All you do is right click on it, pick it up. It's in your inventory. Okay, let's right click on the vehicle icon, go to item info. This shows you how much oil the vehicle uses per kilometer, wheel grip, engine power, max speed, 
spawned weight. Max structural integrity is 165. Now, take note of that number. Right? It's got a little bit of protection against some stuff, but you don't ever want to use that. You're going to die, jump out of your car, and just get killed. Do not let your car get damaged. It can carry some shit, 15 kilos, 30 kilos, sorry, and 15 items. Now, this is the value you never want to see go down. The ped value. That will go down if you get killed by monsters. It tells you so if you hover over it. This is the value that will go down if you crash it into shit, go off cliffs, land in stuff. That's fine, because guess what? Somebody can repair it. There's an item called the Vehicle RK5 and welding wire in-game, and vehicles can actually be repaired back to structural integrity. So, the only thing that can do that in the game is vehicles. There are some unlimited vehicles, but they're rare as. Blah, 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 blah vehicle. Blah, 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 depositing, withdrawing. Well, yeah, nice of them to chuck that in now. Let's talk to this dude. Bang. Yeah. Now, he's giving us a bit more ammo. So this is cool, see? It'll locate the drilling rig. The Vivo Explorer. Let's do a bit of an explanation about that. Again, click your three little squares at the top. Go to your Tools tab and drag your Vivo Explorer out. Your Vivo Explorer is a healing tool. When equipped, you can press the B button and it will heal you all the way to full till you're fully healed and then it will automatically stop healing. This one can break. You know why? Because it has the L at the end of it. You can get an unlimited healer which will last you the whole game as long until you need to heal over say 13, uh, a heal, and can they even have enhancers put on it, economy enhancers, yada yada. It's 20 peds worth, but you get it for free. When you get to the, the start area, I'll show you how to do it all, but when you get to the start area, there's a couple of instances called the gauntlet, and you go and do that with two or three other new people, make sure you've got about 10 ped of ammo on you, go in there, kill the robots, go in there, kill the robots, you'll get one of them as a reward and you will get 10 pet of universal ammo as a reward one time only I'll talk more about the gauntlet when we get down to that area right, let's go down. okay I've got to locate the drill rig it's over there okay let's talk about the map this triangle thing on the right hand side of the map toggles you on the center of your avatar or not so say your maps like that click that and it will center you back on your avatar these three tabs one will show up the cities one will show up the teleporters, one will show up areas, now that will show up land owned areas so you won't see that do anything until you run into some PvP land or land areas and that will show up green and the PvP will show up yellow and red and view areas and view homes and that will be people's homes, yes there are homes in the game generally you can leave that off, you don't really want to care about people's homes but you don't want to clutter up your map, but anyway that's your map there's a drop down thing, you can go Calypso, Space or Thule at the moment, let's click on Calypso, this is Calypso, oh, you've already got a quest to go there, to Camp Phoenix, unfinished business, locate the drill rig, right, don't know why it's on that map like that, because we're going to do that here, um, but let's not worry about that, let's get back to Thule, I'll confuse you too much, center it on our character, reduce the map, move the map, you can just grab it, sort of on the top there and just move it around. I usually like to sit it there so I can still click my message center. Yada yada. Close. Okay. Oil rig. Bit of a trick here. Rather than driving our car back, you can press T. Takes you 60 seconds. Will take you back to the nearest revival point which you're hoping is where your quest is going to be handed in. Okay. Now. We've pressed T from the oil rig. We need to hand this in to this dude over here. Bang. Operate. Yep. Take it easy. I'm going. Okay. Camp has been doing as fast as you can. Yes. I've marked the location on your sat nav. The game's really easy to start with. You just spawn your vehicle there. Operate. And generally most places are a fair whack of a drive. Let me just get my shit together here. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Now, I looked back through a bit of video that I recorded yesterday. 
and the game pixelates. So it gives you waypoints. So you hit that waypoint, just follow the road, gives you the next waypoint. <coughs> game pixelates when I drive. Look, the tutorial is going to go for a while, probably in stages. When I drive, OBS software dumbs down the graphics so we're not chewing so much bandwidth. So <coughs> by all means have a whinge about it, but uh, just showing you what to do and how to start and whatnot. This is where we went down before um, by accident. Now the thing about this buggy is guys, you've got to look after it like I said. <coughs> this buggy compared to like a Jeep or even the Arctic or any other, whoa, 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 we're here. Any other vehicle that you can drive have actually all got really poor handling. The, bu the reason the buggy is so valued is that the handling isn't as bad as a lot and I mean a lot of other vehicles. Where's the door? Now you don't want your vehicle to end up back in planet storage while you're going in to see this dude so by all means pick it up because it does if there's no storage inside this shack you're running back up the hill and that is painful. Okay most bunkers in the game ah now there we have it that there is a trade terminal you can operate it here you can buy ammunition, BLP weapon cells, synthetic mind essence for your magic users, armor, never buy any of these, you're wasting your money, weapons, you probably will end up buying some of these, but again, maybe a couple of times, but let's try to get out of that, mining, probes you'll buy, excavators you'll probably buy once, that lasts forever, the mining miners, well, they last about 10 or 20 drops and then they break. So the thing, good thing is they're only worth 0.1 of a ped to buy. So when you get some money you can buy five of them at a time and go out on a little run. But mining something will go on later. Refiner, doesn't break. Repairable, great. You, when, when you do eventually end up with two ped and you want to mine, strongly suggest buying that. You can also refine stuff like animal hides into leathers there's a fair few things you can refine in the game, so keep in mind that that sells that. Servo probes, again another source of ammunition, again cashes in for the exact same amount. I know that looks quite expensive, 5 ped for 100, but when you're using a small finder, they only use, just have a brief glance through this. Okay, we're back. Got DC'd. As you can see there are statistics on this of a finder, you might think that's all gibberish there, but it all does mean something. Finder can go down 104 metres, a range of 54 metres in a circle, not a triangle, not a square, but a circle. So when you're mining, unfortunately, if you want to carpet bomb an area, you've got to overlap your circles. Or you can choose not to, up to you. 500 ammo use, or one probe and two probes. This is going to be the cheapest thing you can mine with in the game. You can get hoffs with it. You can get massive stuff with it. It is possible. Done it myself on another character. Um, treasure hunting does not apply to Calypso, so you cannot treasure hunt here. The treasure hunting portion of the miner, mining finder will be greyed out on Calypso and other planets, except for Arcadia. Your level of prospecting needs to be zero here, but because you have none at all, you have limited skills so you will not use this finder to its max till maybe level one or at least you've dropped a few dozen or maybe even a hundred probes but that's just the mining finder to begin with uh, not much to talk about there because mining something that costs money and you need to get money first before you can do that so let's close that tools um, yeah I'm not gonna go over them right now because it's sort of a waste with no money uh, medical, you could buy this healer, but like I said, you get a healer. This Mind Force implant is for using magic. You put that in your head with this device here. So what you would do is you would drag this device onto this device in your inventory, equip this device, press A mode so that you can toggle around and left click and that will make your character do all funny things to it. Put that stuff in your head. Then that enables you to use stuff, magic fine chips, which can do fire damage, electric damage, all that sort of stuff. Anti-toxic shot, you get one of these, it is 5.10 ped. 
This allows you to go into lootable PvP zones, which are PvP4. That means, like I said before, like in space, people can take your shit out of this tab, where you've got some shrapnel, and this tab, where you have absolutely nothing right now. They can take that. They can kill you. You've got 10,000 pet in there. They can take the 10,000 pet. You'll cry for weeks. Don't put one of them on for ages until you know exactly what's going on with this game. And you won't be going in the areas anyway. There's not many of them. Enhanced components. Don't worry about that. And miscellaneous. Loot collection pill. Very handy. You need a skill of paramedic in five, I believe. Yes. Auto loot for 20 meters. I cannot hunt without these. It makes me sick. But... At the beginning, you will have no choice. You will not have paramedic in five for a long time. You can chip skills in, but like I said, how much money do you really want to throw at the game? Nanocubes are used to make explosive projectiles, which is the only ammunition you cannot buy here. You've got to buy it off other players. People use explosive projectile blueprints as a gambling system. They get the blueprint, explosive blueprint once, they buy God knows how many hundreds of dollars worth of nanocubes, they go to the construction machine, put it on craft, and walk away from it hoping to hit the jackpot. That is what they do. Even though it's made to make ammo, that's what they do. Okay, mining, blah blah blah. You can read that. Good idea to read that. Close this. Right, let's talk to this dude. That's your storage unit, and that there is a repair unit. If you operate the repair unit, we we'll click all. There'll be nothing to repair. When you have no armor on, when you have no weapon that actually needs repairing, and they are available, or any tools, nothing will show up here. Once you start using an item called an unlimited item, which is your BSC Mark 1, the way you can tell, in this page here, there is no L at the end of the name. It does not say this item is limited. It is unlimited. Anything unlimited will not have the word limited here. It won't have the word unlimited either. It just will show TT max condition and that's it. And an amount that you can repair it for. Some stuff can repair, can cost you tens of thousands of ped. This device, however, as you know now from the beginning of the tutorial, costs nothing to repair. It's the only free non-decaying tool in the game that can get you money for nothing. Right. Drill that in your brain if I have to. Right, dude, let's talk. Flack. Here you go. Bang. I see him. The readings. Yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. Blah, 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 blah. Blah. Right. New mission. Camp. As analyze the sample. Right. We've got some two hides here. Find the trade terminal. Right. We've got to find the trade terminal. Don't remember this quest. Might be new. Operate. Click the cell tab. Oh, dude wants me to hock the hides. Nice. Drag and drop the animal hides from your inventory, click the sell button. Well, there you go. Just done a tutorial for you. That's how you sell stuff. You drag it in here, it tells you how much you're going to get for that item, and then you press sell. And funnily enough, that goes directly onto your pet card. Quest finished. Um, close the inventory. What does it do next? Purchase 100 synthetic mine essence. Ah, right. It wants us to spend the cash. Okay, ammunition, synthetic mine essence, not 10,000, 100, buy. Completing the quest. Bring the essence to Lauren Lord. Is that Lauren Lord? I guess so. Operate. Yeah, I got it. There you go. Yep, yeah, some quests require you to drag and drop. Now, synthetic mine essence will not be in your ammunition and gun tab. It is a mind force item. You have a tab down here called mind force. This is where all your mind force stuff will go. Your chips, your implants, everything. Your that mind essence that you purchase, that's where it'll be. Click yes. I oh, was just leaving. Yeah, look, he's shuffling us off. The thing about it is with the mind essence thing, don't get too <clears throat> excited about it. It's something you want to do down the track later in the game. Oh, yeah. Resources and uh, blah, 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 blah. Raw data experts. Right. A supply pod and drop. Right, blah. Okay. We're going to go to a supply pod. I can't walk out that window. Go, 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 go. Alright. Back in our vehicle. 
can't buy oil for the vehicle at the venue we were just at. You need to mine it or buy it off other players and then apply it to your vehicle as I've shown before. There you go, I press the space bar, it makes it insanely hard to drive the car. Now that monster just hit our car. Bad stuff. Bad stuff. Because that car now has a little bit less TT value. That was my fault, I should have seen that coming. Have a bite. Alright, here we go. Supply pod. Uh, let's camp it up. Exit seat. Pick up. Oh, another thing worth mentioning. Top right of your natural action bars that you get when you start the game. It's a funny green arrow here called progress. Click it. Leave it on. All your skill advances go in this window. Pretty handy to watch what skill relates to what. You know? Sometimes you might level in something and something else will pop up. So the top one's a skill, uh, like a skill category. Bottom one's skill level. And, usu and the middle one, and usually the bottom one is whatever you happen to be using, like a gun or a mining tool. When you're crafting, a blueprint appears here, tells you your progress. If you're using a weapon you don't, can't use it, it'll show you your progress in its skill. Stuff like that, so pretty handy window to have open. All the time, I do. Okay, let's get the supply pod. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, right. We obviously got to open the equipment box. Operate. Beauty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Left alt key. Yeah, well, we've changed it the space bar. Next page. Blah, 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 blah. Accept mission. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, it wants us to perform. Now, the loot window pops up. Doesn't mean you got to drag and drop that in your inventory. Guess what? It's already all there. That's just to advise you that you got that loot right to let you know you've got it the other way press escape go to options go to graphics ah oh, sorry HUD and you can disable the loot windows with this checkbox here what that does is it will disable this box showing up every single time you loot something and it will just show it up in text in a pet amount up here and go down the screen I'll do that now and we'll mine something Apply. Yes, you watch. The loot box will not show up when we mine. Now I'm not going to put this mining finder in a, in a like a hot key thing because we're only going to use it for this quest. Um, let's, okay, so over the area for potential resources. So we base. There's our extractor. Not bad. That actually lasts ages. That extractor. So we want to right clip. Equip our mining finder. Actually, come to think of it, I'm going to dra drag the finder out as an icon because once you break it and sell it, the icon just disappears by itself. We're going to drag the extractor out, the extractor into an, our own little hotkey there, and that's about all we have to do because we will be, if we find something, we'll be swapping between the extractor and the finder. He's given us 12 probes, which is enough for four drops, I think. Anything we mine will show up here. Okay, let's do this. Okay, we're going to mine for ore and end matter. That gives us four drops. Now, don't get me wrong. You could, like, mine something up huge here, man. Like, this could be the beginning of your Entropia career. But I haven't really heard of it happening much. But you just got to think to yourself. Everyone comes here and does this quest and probably drops their first probe right here. Or near that tent, right? All I'm saying to use is, you know, pop out your vehicle, you know, jump in your vehicle. Ore is everywhere. End matter is everywhere. Let's just drive a bit back up the road. How many people do you think are gonna go backwards to mine? They they want to go into the world. They want to they want to experience more. Let's just not hit a mob. I know there was an exosaur up there, so let's just stay away from him. Pick up our vehicle. Right, let's pull out our finder. Radar. This was this is the old school. A lot of this technology in this mining finder is old school, so you, you had to use this to navigate your way around mining. But nowadays, it's basically simple. Make sure that your ore and ore and matter is lit up. The, as I said before, the treasure one is greyed out. 
and go into aim mode right left click let's drop a probe see what happens Hoff 5000 bed tower nice oh we got force nexus force nexus can be used to make mind essence mixed with vibrant sweat that any player can attain from the beginning of the game we just made our first profit I'll tell you how and why soon I'm gonna press B with my claim marker selected and my resource extractor equipped and mine out that force nexus now as you can see it's coming up in ped on the left see no loot window force nexus 0.5 ped force nexus 0.5 ped hopefully we get heaps but we're not gonna 0.5 ped look at that we're making money we've got free money already in the game now let's just keep that like that click them off see what the message is claim marker blah 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 yeah yeah we know all that okay now at an average walk without using little big mining log you can mine without any special extra side tools that MA actually allows you to use and you can count at an average run speed with no ring speeds or anything no speed rings or any r speed buffs you can pick a direction let's just go straight south yep no nah, it's trees there let's just go like that right you can pick a direction you can either get into your map scroll right into your map can't scroll in any further all right you can press you can press P on your keyboard go into your system right that makes a waypoint P makes a waypoint exactly where you're standing click on it now see notice how the waypoint disappeared because you're standing on it so walk five meters away towards your desired direction click on that coordinates now the waypoints there now like I said the range of this um, finder is 54 meters in a circle so we might want to go 50 meters just to overlap it just a bit to make sure we're covering all the ground so let's do that how do we get to tell we've now got a waypoint we can judge 50 meters Oh yeah, we're we're all terrain minor. Look, check out, check this out. Hopping rocks, everything. Okay, how do we know how far our waypoint is? We we'll just turn around and have a look. Oh, what do you know? It's 82 meters. We've gone too far. 70, 60. This is the hard way to mine, mind you. I'm only doing this because I'm just showing you that you can. Uh, all right, 40, 49 meters. That'll do us. We're going to drop a probe right in amongst these rocks here. Oh, there was a mob behind us. He's probably going to gnar us in a sec. Let's equip our finder, turn our map off as to not stuff us around, and drop the probe. Hoff. Nothing. Jeez, what is this world coming to? Alright, we gotta drop one more probe. We got a mob over there. So what do we do? Open the map up. Right click our current waypoint. Remove it. So it's not cluttering up our shit. Equip our pistola. No, oh, that's our that's our vehicle. Press escape. I said equip our pistola. We've got a mob to take care of. Can't mine over there. We've got no mob. Create the waypoint. Move forward a bit more from the waypoint. Bang. Waypoint's there. Let's go kill this monster, whatever it is. It's going to get its face owned. We've got 202 shots in our rig. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice. And just click, click B. Your gun will take you within range of the mob and fire at the earliest that it can. Oh, look, it's going to gnar us. He's got a bit of health, too. We got him. We got him. Right click, loot. See? Loot comes up. We got 0 0.1 of a pet weapon cell nice all right how far are we from our waypoint we are 46 meters before this mob respawns let's get our shit together let's just go to the other side of this bank and drop this probe stuff it there's another mob there so we're not going to stuff around let's drop this third probe to get this quest done okay blah 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 analyzed stake a claim to any resource deposit you have does it go to the g5 outpost at scotts ridge right we got nothing for that hit. 
right? Nothing. But he's given us one more probe. Do not drop that last probe in this area. Like I said, newbies are in here and just dropping that shit. You have got the chances. Mining or spawns are shared between players. Don't listen to anything anyone says. I've I've dropped so many probes it's not funny and I'm telling you right now that if you go to an area that's been banged by about five miners you will lose ped that is one guaranteed thing your money will go down the drain okay let's pull out our rig let's open our map remove that waypoint right close our map jump in our rig operate uh, and their cars aren't really good in this game. They sort of, they can climb hills, but they're not good at it. They, they, they got good speed sometimes. It gets you to place to place, no problem. But yeah, <laughs> the um, torque isn't there. You see how the car's invaluable, can't you? Imagine running all this shit. Right. Scotch Ridge. Okay. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. We don't even have to get out of the car, man. Check it out. Tower above. Right, now we to get out of the car. We've got to pick up our rig. And go upstairs. Okay, specialist in here. What up? I need you to send this data to blah, blah. Yes. Yes. I don't even click on it because it just tells you what to do. Talk to Rusty. Rusty's downstairs. Don't waste time. You've got money to make. Rusty, check me out. I'm in. I'll do my best. Thanks. I'm on it. Right. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, 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 hey. We've landed some stuff. Guns. Explosives. Investigate the crash site. Old Amir, uh, oh, Rusty there's armed us to the teeth. Now, because we don't have a loot window anymore, for the sake of tutorialism, I'm going to re-enable the loot window. HUD. Re-enable loot windows. Apply. Tick. Right. Let's have a look what we got. We've got some Force Nexus, which we can mix with some sweat later. We've got some shrapnel, which we can... That's it. Shrapnel. Right-click. Convert to ammo you will get 101% every time. Oh yeah, blah 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 blah, manufacturing, blah 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 blah. Right, let's check out the weapons. Alright, old mate has given us a rocket launcher. Check out the stats. We don't have the skills to use this yet, but this gun that he's given us has got a range of 131 meters, which is massive. And we have the skills to use this gun. So, this is new to me. Let's pull him out. Turn him into an icon up next to our pistola. Now, Solomate Rubio. Mm, good gun. Let's put that up next to our skill deck. And close that. Now, this weapon, I said close that. This weapon can use explosive projectiles. It cannot use universal ammo. Don't know why, it just can't. You need to use this ammo. This is the ammo people use nanocubes to make. And this is what they're... You'll see globals come up here all the time. It'll be these people, probably 70% of the time, making them. The, the blueprint they're using is about 20 ped a click, so that's two American dollars down the drain every time the construction machine goes thunk. And you need some pretty serious skills to get to the stage where you've even got a chance of getting cash out of that. So let's just not worry about that for now. Let's check out our Solomate Azuro, our Rubio. Okay, pretty good on ammo. Uh, we almost, we, we sort of don't have the skills to use it. As you can see, our attacks per minute are lower. Our damage interval, which is your damage basically. Okay, the left hand side is what you will do with the skills you've got now. And the right hand side is what you can potentially do with this gun at full skill. 
as you can see we're not far off but believe me missing point of a number is bad in this game you don't use weapons unless you have to at the beginning here unless these numbers are all maxed don't start buying bigger guns because you think you're going to own face and teach monsters a lesson because the only lessons are going to be taught is to this thing here your ped card and you may as well get a hammer out and just start beating it to death because that's what you're going to be doing so that piece of advice just there you gotta listen to that shit right so enough about the gun spiel let's, let's see what he actually wants right investigate the crash site we gotta to go to the investigation first this must be the shuttle we should investigate further right investigate the wreckage alright oh, now we need to wow a question mark showed up that doesn't usually happen operate See if an object's not not uh, pertaining to your quest. You can right click and operate, just nothing will happen. That's all. Here I gotta find Garcia. Keeps giving us waypoints. Where well, there's no road. Waypoint three. Alright. Investigate the device. We can't right click on it, let's zoom in, let's have a look. There it is there. See, sometimes you just got to zoom in because the device is small. So, if you couldn't target it, then zoom in by all means. Locate the robot structure. Alright. Looks like we're on foot for this, ladies and gentlemen. That's the robot structure up there. We're going to sneak through the bush here. And see what's up there. Probably robots. Alright, now. Another handy hint. Your Solomate Rubio has a range of roughly 48 meters. Not bad. Your range is 44.5 right now. But, Skill Deck Lance Head, you got full the ability to use. Press H, and there's a drone there. Okay. Let's press B. Let's take the drone out. Because we can from here. Oh. <laughs> took his face out, man. You got no chance. You got a little bit of grenadier skills. Why not? Yeah, robots are good. Now, robots, stuff like robots and stuff like that will give you dodge. And animals will give you... Oh, okay. Let's just stop right here. Nova Fragments. You're going to hate this loot. This is one of the things that you get in the game. This is a good good thing because when you kill... If any of you have any, any played any other game like Diablo and that, how do you get legendaries? You don't go and play the hardest torment and kill five mobs because they're high level and hope to get the good loot. It never works that way. It might, rarely, but you're pretty much kidding yourself. So, so what you got to do is, you got to kill lots of mobs, so that when you get that Nova Fragment, you don't have a big cry about it, because you didn't just waste 10 bucks killing something that gave that. you got to kill mobs that are always underneath your belt. You, you can't go smashing things, trying to test yourself all the time, that's okay in every other game, because in every other game, we just got to take care of our shit here, we could die. Every other game's free. This one's costing you money. Whoa, 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 whoa. this guy here's got to go first. See? Yeah, hey, check out that pistol. Nice. Got pistol at his face in. Now, as you can see, he does a fair bit of damage. We're getting hit. Bad. Alright. Loot. Alright, let's equip our Vivo Explorer. And let's press B. Heal ourselves to full. The Vivo Explorer will stop healing itself when you are at full. Let's equip the Solomate Rubio. Let's see how we go with that. H. H usually selects the closest mob. But it didn't that time. T. 
take that out. As you can see, the mob behind us has already respawned. There'd be a fast spawn rate on this. Okay, there's another mob, and that guy we just killed has already spawned. So let's just operate that and run. Now we got hit by that. Didn't run fast enough. Let's heal ourselves. We're surrounded by robots now. Nice. We took a hit to the face, but we survived. Okay, talk to Rusty. Well, we know where Rusty is. He's back there. So, how do we approach a situation like this? Where well, there's robots there. Ah. Seems like it. Right. Okay, blah, 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 blah. We just got thanked. Hang a hand out. Travel to Spaceport Helios. Okay. Hang a hand out. So we don't have to go back and see Rusty, do we? Let's click our mission log. No, it's the only one we've got. Spaceport Helios. Now, that waypoint is 300 metres that way, and we've got three robots in our road. We can kill them and try to get loot, but what's the point? We just want to get out of here. So press T. Right, Scott's Ridge. Okay, let's assess what we've got happening here. What have we got in our bags? Now, <clears throat> BLP weapons isn't something you're really going to get on Calypso. So I'm going to strongly suggest that 99.9% .9 of the time, all the time, sell your BLP weapons cells. You don't need them. They trade directly for weapon cells, so there's no loss or gain here. You're just selling the weapon cells. Okay, let's go to our materials tab. What do we got? We can convert that to ammo. Nova fragments are used for upgrading items, unlimited items, so they open up tier slots. So if you look at this item here, item info, see these padlocks down the bottom here? On a limited item, then padlocks will unlock by themselves with no expense to you. On unlimited items, items you get to keep, then padlocks need to be paid for. And usually Nova Fragments are a part of that payment, or Blazar Fragments, whichever one you choose. Alright, let's just sell them, so that we've got a bit of ped. Well, we're rich now, we've got 0.03 ped, take over the world. Alright. Let's unequip our fat. Right click, unequip. Alright, let's get down there. Spaceport Helios. We have arrived. Talk to Lieutenant Smith when you're ready to travel. This is it, guys. Exit seat. Pick up your vehicle. Turn your map off. Operate the Lieutenant. Yes, I'm ready to go to the mainland. Okay, let's go.